are completely lost. If you ask uh, an Asian to tell him about uh, St. Patrick, uh, St. Patrick and his naked island, he will not know the story whatsoever. Next. So, if uh, uh, if uh, Legba is the regenerative life source of the universe and Dambala is the dynamic life force of the universe, uh, Ersuli is uh, the mother of all the gods, the mother of humanity. She is the cosmic woman. And uh, she has uh, two different aspects. The first one is Ersuli Freda. Ersuli Freda is a sweet, soothing, flirtatious. Uh, she is the uh, symbol of fertility and seduction. She is often represented uh, with, a heart, as a, with a heart and a M. The M stands for a title which is maîtresse. And the heart is nothing to do with love, but it represents her womb. And it's both the macrocosmic womb from which uh, the universe was created, and also the microcosmic womb, the microcosmic womb from which of a woman from which every human being uh, is born. Next, the association is with the Virgin Mary, uh, especially with the Mater Dolorosa del Monte Calvario. Here she is with a, a, a crown symbolizing, and a lot of jewelry symbolizing the fact that she is the Queen of Heaven, and the rings who symbolize her marriage with the Church, <coughs> and uh, a uh, heart piece by a dagger who signifies sorrows and devotion <coughs> under extreme suffering. Next. The image is exactly the same, the meaning has changed. As I said, the M is not for Mary, but it's for Maitresse. The uh, crown is because she is uh, the only female uh, loa who uh, governs the universe. And uh, the jewelry represents gifts from her many lovers. And the rings represent more than love affair. <laughs> uh, her counterpart. Next. Next. Could have resisted. Sorry. <laughs> no? Go back. Well, we can leave it here. You can leave it there. Thank you. Is uh, Ersuli Danto. She is a, a fiery. Goddess. She represents uh, love as uh, the most uh, uh, deadly form of love, uh, of possession and jealousy, the most, most compulsive type. Her favorite color is red and black, and her favorite offering is a strong cigarette and uh, rum and uh, black pigs. That's what she likes. So, next, she's been, uh, she's been uh, associated with the Black Madonna of Czestopova, who carries baby Jesus. Now, the Asian had a different interpretation. Baby Jesus is actually Anais, who is one of the daughters of, uh, of uh, Ersuli Danto. Anais, uh, the name has been suggested, comes from Ananas, which is pineapple in French. Um, pineapple is one of her favorite... Uh, food offering, but it also might refer mm -hmm. to uh, a crown who, uh, um, similar to the top of a pineapple. Uh, in an ordered society, images such as this provide visual stimuli for the layering of notion upon notion. Uh, <coughs> also, Anaïs, uh, there is a French perfume called Anaïs Anaïs by Cacheret, who is uh, her favorite perfume. <laughs> Next. Oh, that's the that's the flag uh, of uh, Ezuli Danto. You see the black pig. She does the pig. Sorry. Possibly. Um, and uh, uh, at last, that's my final uh, god, but probably the most important, because all soul will eventually pass before Gede. He is the nominative respect for him. Uh, this is the same flag, uh, front and verse. Gede is uh, the paramount spirit of the dead. Gede is actually a family of spirit. And uh, he includes uh, all different spirits, such as Baum Samedi, Baum Samedi, Baum Lacroix, Baum Cimetière, and the female marionette and Maman Brigitte. Uh, <laughs>
Interesting enough, apart from being god of death, is also a phallic deity, is uh, uh, very much into sex, and uh, is also a healer, especially for children. Next. Is often represented, as we've seen, um, with tall parts, like a undertaker, or as a dancing skeleton, having fun. Uh, laughing in the face of death, death laughing. Next, and just I'm going to show you different images. Uh, I love those flags, um, so I'm just going to show you a bit more of them. I think they're all beautiful. There you are. Next. Uh, Gede has been associated with San Jero. No, <laughs> why? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, first of all, uh, he, this saint was born from a wealthy family and decided to abandon everything in order to heal the sick. And because he was a healer, and as we say, Gede is a healer, there is the association. But also, next, is because this saint is one of the few saints who has um, a black tunic, the black dress, and black and purple are the god of choice for the dead. Next. Oh, sorry, yeah, I want to put that, I have to put this, because uh, it just shows how this artist, for example, who became a, a Christian, decided to use uh, Christian imagery, but in the context of uh, of a, of a sequent flag. So here we have a story from David and Goliath and the crucifixion. Next. And this is a, this is a different interpretation of the crucifixion in which uh, well, Christ is on the cross, but we see the snakes of Dambala uh, everywhere and we see probably Gede or Baun Sandi waiting uh, for Christ. Next. Although they are beautiful objects, they are also a most important liturgical object to be used in uh, the ritual. And that's what I'm going to talk about it, um, they use in the ritual. Um, most, uh, um, most rituals will use the uh, flags, especially a ritual for initiation, invocation and pilgrimage. And most of voodoo society will have at least two flags. Now, at the beginning of, uh, of the ritual, the congregation will ask for the flags. And so, this uh, person, his name is Laplace. Laplace is the second uh, highest ranking member. is the assistant to the priest. And is also in charge of keeping the order of the ceremony. So Laplace, accompanied by two female assistants, also called Kodrapo, will go in the shrine of a, of a side uh, room and will collect the, uh, the flag. They will unfurl the flag and they will go back inside the main area of the temple and there they will have some sort of choreographic display of the flag, accompanied by Laplace, who carries the sword, the sword of Ogu the uh, god of war. So, as soon as they go inside the temple, they will, force, they will first salute the drums, then they will salute the uh, potomiton, which is the central uh, shaft, as I mentioned before, and then they will salute the four cardinal points. And we can see uh, what I was mentioning before about the use of saluting which is very much like in the army, in military ceremony, you go around and salute. <coughs> After those salute, they will actually salute member, important member of the congregation, starting with the priest, the, the priest who is in charge of the ceremony, because there might be other uh, priests as guests coming to participate in the ceremony, but the, the most important priest will be salute for the fir as first. And uh, um, next. 
this is the moment in which uh, the uh, Laplace, accompanied by the Kodrapo, face the uh, Ugan, the priest. And Maya Deren, uh, the famous uh, female director, uh, film director, who managed to go to Haiti and became initiated in voodoo, and managed to do a lot of uh, recording of uh, voodoo ceremony, has her own interpretation of this moment. And uh, I have an extract of uh, the Divine Horseman here to show you. Next. <laughs> and assistant to the priest, carries a sword representing the guardian god of the temple. He is flanked by two flag bearers who represent the congregation. The priest, holding his sacred rattle, and the trio seem to engage in some strange mock battle. There is no question but that it is a competition between the power of the Loa and the congregation together against that of the Hungar. The Laplace bows and kisses the earth at the priest's feet as a mark of respect. The priest kisses the hilt of the sword. 